Appalachian Wireless now has new forward pay pricing, where you can pay up front and get the data and features you desire. Five gigabytes of data, just $39.99. Unlimited, just $79.99. Better service, bigger savings. That's today's Appalachian Wireless. With much of eastern Kentucky under a flood watch through Friday morning, officials at Highway District 12 are urging motorists to be aware that high water and mudslides are going to be a possibility all across the region. You know, you're going to find water on the road and you're going to find slides that may be in the middle of a curve and we can't sign them all. It'd be nice if we had advanced warning signs on all our slides, but there's no way we can do that physically. Jimmy Queen, the work zone safety coordinator for Highway District 12, says one of the biggest travel hazards, especially on two-lane roads, is water that backs up into the road from ditch lines that are full. Anytime the ditch line's obstructed, it's not able to function as it should, which is to move water down the road instead of across the road. When you have that obstructed, uh, that water comes out into the road. But one of the most dangerous things a motorist can encounter, especially after dark, is a mudslide. Slides create a different situation. Of course, if it's out into the road, we have to make sure the the travel part of the road's open. And if the ditch line's obstructed, try to clean that out. A lot of time, as wet as it is, it reoccurs the next day. You have as much as you take out, you have that much coming back in. Even after a mudslide is cleared and the road is reopened to traffic, Queen says the danger to motorists will remain for several days. Mud's a little bit harder to deal with because you can only get so much of it off with a piece of equipment. You're still going to have a a light skim there on the highway, and uh, that sometimes is even more dangerous than dirt two or three inches deep. If you do encounter a mudslide or a rockfall that is impacting traffic, Highway District 12 officials encourage you to notify law enforcement or a local fire department as quickly as possible. In Pikeville, I'm Shannon Deskins, EKB News.